Hello everyone, it's Kay. How's it going today? So, this is the 30th of November 2020 on Monday, and this is a recorded video. This is not a live stream. So, today I will run the Forex Theta 4 and present one of my strategies, which is the uh, pin bar reversal. So, pin bar reversal is actually one of my favorite setup to take buy or sell in lower time frames. So I will run the tester and exactly show you how I would capture these trading edges by this pin bar reversal. So let's get started right now. So once again, I'm sorry, usually I do the lives on Mondays, but today, once again, as, as well as last week, uh, today on Monday, I have to be outside from the home because um, I am actually doing the driving lesson. So. Um, yeah, I have to be away from the house at night, so that's why I am recording this video right now. So I hope you enjoy my lecture on this recorded video. So, here is a Forex Tester 4, and as you may already know, I use different time frames to capture trends, confirm it, and when it comes to taking trades, I use multiple indicators like bondage bands, stochastics, or Fibonacci retracement lines, and today, I will show you once again this uh, pin bar reversal on lower time frame. So first, I try to capture the trend on the daily chart. So in the daily chart, this one is going down because uh, simply the price has been going down, and the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. If you look at it, the Senkou Span B down, A down, and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen down and Chikou Span below the candles, so this is the downtrend confirmation first of all. So in this case, I only look for the sell chance, I never look for the buy chance in this case, just to make sure we're on the same page. So that's a daily chart, and then I look at the 1 hour chart, and let's see if 1 hour chart is also going down. And right now I see 1 hour chart is flat in direction, because the Kumo Senko Span B flat, A flat, oops, hold on. Yeah, Senko Span B flat, A flat, and the Kijun Sen flat. And also Tenkan Sen is even flat also. However, Chikou Span below the candles, and the price is below the Tenkan, Kijun, and the Kumo here. So in this case, the equivalent is bearish. The equivalent is bearish. Bearish. So um, I expect the market to go bearish on this reverse in the wave continuously, like this way. Because the daily chart is downtrending as we confirmed earlier. But however, because these lines are flat, the market might retrace backwards to the Tenkan Sen or it might even come back to the Kijun Sen. So in this case, I wait until the Kijun Sen down and also the Kumo down to look for the sell chance in lower time frames. So let's run the tester until I see the down Kumo and down Kijun Sen in 1 hour chart. So let me enlarge the 1 hour like this way, and I will move the candles one by one by 5 minute chart and until I see the downtrend on Kumo and Kijun Sen. So let's see. So, alright, still flat right now. Okay, now I see that the lines are moving down. I can see that the, um, the Kumo Senko Span B is slightly moving down, Senko Span B is also slightly moving down, and Kijun Sen is down too, and Chikou Span is below the candles, good confirmation for the downtrend. So this is exactly where I start to look at the lower time frames, either 5 or 15 minute chart, to look for the selling edge. So today I will look at the 5 and see where I can place the sell. So once again, today's topic is about the pin bar reversal. So I will try to identify where the pin bar happens in the market and place a sell accordingly. So here we go, let's get started. Oops, hold on. Alright, sorry about that. So let's run it a bit more until I see the pin bar reversal. So first of all, the pin bar is when you see like a very tiny body, tiny body and weak pointing upwards. This would be the pin bar. And so once the market goes upwards, and when you see this kind of a candlestick, then this is a potential reversal signal and the market goes down this way. 
And this is exactly what I'm looking for today. Um, sometimes um, it might not gonna be like so, like a, you know this this type of uh, pin bar. It might also be like um, like a, uh, the body, a small body might appear, and there might be the whip point uppers. I would say this is also the pin bar, and also um, there will be a body like this. And there might be a tiny wick or small wick pointing down, but if if you see the wick pointing upwards will be much much bigger, longer than the lower one. This is also potential reversal pin bar. The market goes up, and if you see one of these pin bars, then it can go down this way as a potential reversal signals. So when it's the um, bullish pin bar it's why uh, it's a vice versa so yeah these are the things that i'm looking for right now so already we saw some pin bars like um yeah this one is doji candle but um yeah i can see that the uh there's a pin bar like this one very tiny though very tiny i want the wick pointing longer upwards so in that sense i think i found this one yeah this was a nice pin bar over here yeah this is a nice pin bar so that the market can reverse backwards this way but one thing that is important is that i don't really care about this pin bar at this moment because as we saw earlier the daily chart was down but one hour chart was flat when we saw this pin bar hold on let me just com come back the chart a little bit more so um if i just go back to this pin bar over here all right uh, this one the latest one to be a pin bar and if I see one hour chart I think it was still flat yeah you see one hour chart is still flat Kijun Sen flat Kumo so in this case I don't trust this five minute chart pin bar because the one hour chart is flat so the market might go up continuously up here so it's important to remember uh, which pin bar or which uh, indication is important or which one is not and in this case I would say that this pin bar in 5 minute chart is not really important because one hour chart was still flat so this pin bar might become fake and the market might go up continuously so this is a pin bar that you have to avoid taking a sell so coming back to the topic if I run the tester one by one until I see downtrending on the one hour. Okay, so now I see Kijun Sen down and also Kumo down here. Chikou span below the candles. So this is where exactly I start to look for the pin bar. Because after this, the pin bar might work, can work as a reversal signal more, better than the previous pin bar because this is now downtrending so let's move one by one so okay oh hold on I think I went too fast but there was a pin bar like this one but this one is um, to me this is kind of a range market I can see that this was a range market and pin bar looking like shape so this was not really the pin bar for me uh, because pin bar should appear when the market goes up and pin bar appears on the top and after that it reverses downwards this way this is a typical pin bar but when it's consolidating and when you see pin bar i don't really trust this one so this is the pin bar that i prefer so let's run a bit more okay one by one okay so there is a doji candlestick and doji is also a nice reversal signal when you see doji it can reverse backwards this way well in this case this is a downtrend so you won't take a buy on this doji because it can go continuously downwards so let's see all right so looking for the pin bar still okay so there's a pin bar like this one but once again, this is also the pin bar under 
the consolidating market I don't trust so much. Or if it breaks down this way, then that will be a sell. Together with this pin bar, that will be a sell. But if it's going to support it twice and goes up, then I won't look for, I won't take a sell yet. So let's just move on one by one. Okay, so it looks like it's been supported twice at this price level. And now it goes backwards. So let's see. So there was another pin bar here. There was another pin bar, but um, we are still looking for the sell chance. And after the pin bar, the market moves up continuously. So in this case, I won't take this pin bar to sell. So I expect the market goes up, pin bar and goes down this way. And then that will be a sell chance for me. So let's run it a bit more. Okay, now it's going up. Okay, so there's a nice doji candlestick and it goes down this way. So this is typical doji break. Well, this is not the pin bar, but this is a nice doji break. And if I see this reversal, then I will take this as one of the confirmations to sell. So perhaps I might be selling it after the next candlestick close, which is at this price level, and put the stop above the recent high, which was at this level. Slightly above the recent high. And in this case, I take the stop loss uh, about uh, 18 pips of stop loss, which is decent. And I expect the market continuously go down this way. So yeah, I just happened to find that this is nice doji reversal signal. So this is good to know. So anyhow, let me keep running a bit more until I see the pin bar reversal signal for today's topic. Okay, so there was a pin bar but it doesn't break down yet. So I don't take that one. Okay, gradually moving down. Um, yeah, looks like there is no ideal pin bars at the moment. Oh yeah, sorry, I just went too fast. So I saw the pin bar over here. So this is a pin bar that I was looking for, actually. Because in this case, I can see that the, um, you know, the, the body was a little tiny, like this. And I can see the wick pointing upwards, and there is no wick pointing downwards, and this was a reversal signal. And before that, there were two bullish candles. So two bullish candles, bull trend, pin bar, and reverse downwards. Now after the pin bar, we saw that there was a um, bearish candle. And then that will be a sell chance. Well, in this case, we already saw that it broke downwards. So if I see the pin bar like this, I will be selling it after the previous low breakout. Maybe below the weak point in downwards, low breakout, I will take it. And so you may wonder, in this case, I think this is also a good example, but right here is also a pin bar, and this is a bullish pin bar. So market goes down this way, and you might wonder if it's gonna go up after this pin bar and my answer is no because as we confirm the daily chart is downtrend and one hour chart is also downtrend so this can be fake this can be fake reversal and it can violate downwards easily because this is downtrend at the moment so instead of taking this bullish pin bar we better look for the bearish pin bar which was happening exactly here so I would place a sell at the breakout or after the break that was shooting down. So I will be placing the sell at the candle close and stop loss above the recent high over here. And in this case, now stop loss pips is going to be 30, 33 pips of stop loss. Then I look, I keep selling it off from here. So yeah, let's see if it goes down still. Looks like there are twice supports. And yeah, it broke downwards this way. Yeah, so um, yeah, I hope 
you get the idea of what I'm looking for. So today, it happened to be like there were there were two examples. One was the pin bar over here. Um, yeah, pin bar over here. And also other one was the Doji candlestick breakout as another potential reversal signal. So yeah, these are the signals that I'm looking for when I look at the lower time frames. And I take this as one of the confirmations. So let's say if the Bollinger Band squeeze and stochastic dead cross, that will be the th three confirmations. And I take these uh, doji candlestick reversal or pin bar reversals as one of the confirmations to, to entry. So make sure you look for at least three or more confirmations whenever you enter the market and it should be fine. So I hope you liked today's live stream. So this is actually the Forex Tester 4 and they are actually on sale right now. They have a Black Friday sale. And the Forex Tester 4, they have a almost like half price discount. And also, um, as I presented earlier on the previous live stream, um, I have a coupon code for Forex Tester 4. Uh, let me share it with you. If you're interested, uh, you can uh, type in this uh, coupon code. If you already have the Forex Tester, then um, if you put this coupon code, then you get 10 bonus discount on upgrades of the data. If you're new to the Forex Tester 4 and type this coupon code on the second one, then you get 5% discount on purchase and also you have a free VIP subscription per month for one month, so the first month. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's live stream. I mean, uh, sorry, it was not the live stream. It was a video, sorry. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And tomorrow and the day after, Tuesday, Wednesday, will be also the recorded videos. I will present uh, some other strategies of mine. So I hope you keep following it and press the like button before you leave today. So once again, thank you for watching until the end. And I hope you stay healthy and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you. I put the link below for this uh, Forex Tester 4 referral link, so please click on this one. So, bye for now. Thank you.